Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today it's time for another house plan unboxing video. This time once again from Steve's Leaves. I do these Steve's Leaves unboxing videos on my channel every summer and I can't believe this is the fourth year in a row that we're doing a Steve's Leaves unboxing, which is very exciting. Also because they are seriously one of my favorite places to shop for houseplants online. Not only are their houseplants always so full and lush and are their prices fair, but their selection is impeccable. Like I seriously cannot think of any other place that rivals the selection that Steve's Leaves has. So let's go ahead and get inside this box. Uh, just for disclaimer reasons, I will let you guys know that I did receive these plants for free, but as always with any of my house plant unboxing videos that I've ever done, ever here on my channel, I am not being paid for this video. And I also am not using my normal microphone in today's video, so I hope the audio is okay. Kind of taking a risk there, but we'll see what happens. I also am a really big fan of the way that Steve's Leaves packages their house pens. They're always so safe and snug. So right here you can see it's got a little piece of packing paper on top. And then underneath we have even more packing paper it looks like. And then all of the house plants are inside the box here, just nestled up nicely, wrapped up very nicely. And I believe we have six to unwrap today, which is very exciting. As always, I will leave a link in the description to Steve's Leaves website so you can go and shop yourself. And I will always leave a list of the plants that I received in this video in the description as well. And there's one right here where I can see the tag sticking out. I can see what this plant is. So I think this is a first, a great first one to open up. Go ahead and carefully unwrap our plant. <sighs> wow. Talk about abundance. I was just saying how lush and beautiful their house plants are. You can see how full this gorgeous Deschidia ovata is right here. So this is also commonly referred to as the watermelon Deschidia. You can see the tag right here. I don't know how close I can get to the camera, but wow, that is such a full house plant. I have tried growing Deschidia ovata in the past. I actually have a couple in my home that I'm working on growing out, but they are always such slow growers and Steve's Leaves just always has their plants, like I was saying, in such abundance. They're always so lush and beautiful. So I figured what better plant to uh, try receiving already lush and beautiful than the Deschidia ovata that I've been struggling with myself. But I feel pretty confident knowing Steve's Leaves that if I am struggling with a house plant, the best place to get it from is Steve's Leaves. This one in particular, every time I would find it at the garden centers, they were always just completely overwatered and they would deteriorate very quickly. So I feel confident that this has been cared for correctly in the right settings. So they wrap them up in plastic as I was just taking off and then they always put a little piece of damp paper to not only keep the soil moist, but keep it in place as it's traveling. Of course, now as I'm pulling it out, the soil's coming out a little bit, but it's so perfect. Look how nicely this plant shipped and how gorgeous it is. Really such an excellent specimen. This is so beautiful. The leaves do look a little different from the ones that um, I got from the nurseries around here. So this could perhaps be a different variety than the one that I have, or maybe it is just, like I said, subject to different growing conditions that cause it to look a little different, but I'm so excited about this. This is one I'm going to be hanging up in an east-facing window. Hopefully I'm going to give it the best conditions that I possibly can because I'm absolutely obsessed with this plant and third or fourth time's a charm. But like I said, I feel so confident that if I have been struggling with a house plant, Steve's Leaves is really the best place to get it as their plants are always just in such great condition. As you can see right here, proof positive. So let's move on. We do have quite a few more to unwrap today. So I have, let's do this one. This is another Deschidia right here. I can see from the tag because it's on the outside, which is very helpful in today's video. Let's go ahead and remove this tag. I am so excited about the house plant that's inside here. So I'm going to be very careful with unwrapping this one. So let's go ahead and go for the reveal. <sighs> Oh, goodness. Okay, this is just so stunning right here. Let me remove the paper. So this is, let me grab the tag again, a Deschidia pneumalaria. Here's the tag. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I've been wanting to grow the plain green version of this plant for a while now. I've been growing the variegated version in my home, but that's just not doing it for me in the way that the plain green version just has such an incredible vibe. It looks like a small version of like Peperomia Hope or the Zerosicyos Dengai, all of those 
uh, round, uh, succulent leaf houseplants, but I just love how small these are and just how abundant they are. I'm so super excited about this. I will mention that this is one when Steve Lees reached out to me asking what houseplants I was interested in, that this is one that I asked for off menu, so I didn't see it on their website, but they are clearly growing it. It's so nice seeing this plant in abundance. This one is definitely hard to come by in the United States right now. And I feel like if you were to purchase this plant, I feel like nine times out of 10, you would just be purchasing just a small couple pieces, probably from like an Etsy shop. Um, but this is just nothing like I've seen before. I am not usually ever seeing this house plant, like I said, on the market. So I'm just so absolutely thrilled. Like I said, this was one of the ones that I asked for off menu, if you will. Uh, but it's just uh, so gorgeous. This is another one. I feel like both of these Dishidia that I have, I'm going to be hanging up in my east facing windows. So I think they're gonna do very well there. And I'm going to have hopefully learned from the mistakes of the past times I've grown the other Dishidia. This one, like I said, I've grown the variegated version and I have got it to grow well for me now, but at first it was on the struggle bus. So I'm feeling very confident once again that I'm going to learn from my mistakes. And as I've said multiple times, what better place to buy a plant that I've struggled with in the past than Steve's leaves where it's literally been growing out to its fullest uh, potential in the perfect greenhouse conditions and then coming right to my home and not being bounced around uh, from a third party seller to a houseplant store, then to my home and just going through a lot of stress. So, wow, that's so gorgeous. I hope it takes very well. But like I said, I'm feeling very confident. Dishidias are ones that handle um, drought very well. So I'm definitely not gonna be soaking these. I'll probably both give them a good watering like every like seven to 10 days since they will be in a decently bright window. They probably will be drying out a bit, but any more than that and I'll probably have some bad news on my hands, but I'm just so thrilled about this. So gorgeous. Never seen this one in person before, plain green like I said, so I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure those are the only Dishidia in today's video. Yes. Oh, and they sent me a Steve's Lee's pen. I have a Steve's Lee's pen now, that's so exciting. Um, okay, so we have three more in today's video. This is a little one. I'm excited about this guy. I thought this was really cute when I saw it on the website. And um, it's a begonia, I will say. Steve's Leaves is known for their selection of begonias. They have so many incredible begonias. And if you've been watching my recent videos, you might know I've been trying to get more into begonias. So I um, figured this was the perfect opportunity to try one out that maybe I wouldn't be able to get at my local house fan stores. So this one's in a little bit of a smaller pot. So this is one of the more like specimen house plants, I believe, where they do sell it a little bit smaller, a little bit less full, but still just as good quality. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is so cute. So this is a little begonia. Oh, let me check the tag. So this is a begonia natu nanensis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Of course, the name will be on screen. I'm holding up the tag, but let me show you guys the plant. That's the most important part. So it's got these really, really nice green leaves. If you look on their website, or if you just Google image this, I'm sure, but the picture that they had on their website was from one of their more mature house plants. That was probably their mother plant that they're growing this from, probably from leaf cuttings. And these leaves, once they get a little bit more mature, are just so stunning. So this is one I really wanted to try out. But I figured I could try growing this underneath a glass cloche because I have one available and hopefully grow it to its fullest potential. Last year I got a Begonia Milana Bellata from Steve's Leaves and that is still chugging away perfectly fine underneath the glass cloche. So I think I've figured out how to grow some of those more finicky begonias, not saying this is a finicky one for certain, but just to be safe rather than sorry, as you know, I'm not the most successful begonia grower, I am gonna grow this under a glass cloche, but these leaves are just so nice. I really like how round they are. It's kind of similar to the begonia contrafolia that I was talking about in a recent video, but the leaves are much thinner and have a little bit more like corrugation to them. You can kind of see too with these newer leaves that are popping in right here, a little bit of that more defined characteristics that this plant has. But wow, this is so gorgeous. I really need to get more into begonias. Uh, you know, I don't want to fill up my home too much more than it is now with houseplants. So I do need to be, be careful because uh, I do have a remotely addictive personality when it comes to houseplants. So I'm not trying to get too sucked in to begonias the way I got sucked into Hoyas and Peperomias. <laughs> but uh, one step at a time, but this is a perfect step to take, I think. Still three more to go. And the plant that's inside here is one that I already grow in my home, but I really wanted to try it again. And I don't know anywhere that sells this plant regularly other than Steve's leaves. So the perfect opportunity. 
Oh, and it's just so full and lush. Oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so this is a Syngonium Erythrophyllum Yano Carti Road. <laughs> wow, this is so full and lush. I can't believe this. I've been growing this plant in my home for probably three years now because I think I got this plant on the first Steve Lee's unboxing video I ever did. Maybe the second, I'm not really sure. You can go back and find out, but um, I've been growing this plant and it's grown to be like a nice long, a couple long vines now, but I kind of wanted to go back and experience it as just a nice full four inch pot again. So this is just really striking my fancy right now. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the colors are just so different on this plant than many of the other ones that we grow in our home. The top side of the leaves are really dark green, kind of like a slight olive hue, but like very, very dark. And then the back side of the leaves sports this lovely burgundy, like wine red color. It's really fantastic. Like I said, color you don't see in many other plants and really just a fantastic syngonium. The leaves are a little bit more le leathery than like your standard podophyllums that you see when you go to your houseplant stores. It's really a, an excellent houseplant. I feel confident this is going to be one that if it's not already uh, very popular, is going to become very popular in the near future because <laughs> there's just so much to love about it. But I've really never seen this in such abundance myself. It's just so gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get it out of the, the plastic. Alrighty, it's looking absolutely beautiful, unwrapped, absolutely lush. And I do want to say real quick that I am well aware that some of the house plants like this one, for example, aren't necessarily inexpensive, but if you are going to be spending a little bit more money on your plants, it's so nice to get them in such abundance. As I mentioned, I believe a lot of these plants are ones that you might find on like Etsy as like a little two leaf cutting for probably half the price of this pot right here, but I think it's so much more worth it to just shell out a little bit more money to get so much more plant and Steve's Leaves does exactly that. So they're just such an excellent place to get your house plants from. This is so full. Like I have never seen this plant this full before. I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, I'm always amazed with Steve's Leaves. I think that goes without saying, but they really deliver. They really deliver. And as I said, not being paid to say this, did receive the plants for free, but I'm not being paid to say anything. I have two more. This is another Syngonium right here. This is one that I don't have in my home though. So this is a new one for me. Oh, wow. Whoa. Once again, a super full plant. It's so nice to be seeing these plants so full. Like I was saying, if you are gonna be spending a little bit more money on these, it's so nice to be receiving just such a large plant out the get-go than have to start off with just a one or two leaf cutting with just one plant, have to go from there. So this is a Syngonium Wendlandii, and it's got some really, really beautiful leaves. I don't think I've ever seen them this mature. So like the entirety of this plant is sporting some of these nice mature leaves. I'm obsessed with these trilobe leaves. This is one of my favorite type um, of leaf shapes that are out there. So this is a plant that's gonna fit me like a glove. And that little venation is so nice. I'm becoming a really big fan of Syngonium, so I'm trying to expand my collection a little bit. So I think this is an excellent addition to my collection. This is just so full. Like I I know that their plants are always so full and lush every time I order from them, but like they've been, <laughs> this is really blowing me away. This and the Syngonium, Yano Carti Road in particular, are just so full and lush. They're absolutely worth the money, if not more. And I feel like everywhere else I'd be selling these plants for more money because they're so much more worth it than I was expecting. There's like six plants in this pot right here. Like that. That's so much more than anywhere else gives you. So I'm just so amazed. These leaves are gorgeous. I'll admit, I think the plant that I was most excited for today's unboxing was the Dachidia new malaria, but this is the one that I'm feeling the most connection with as of this unboxing. It's just so gorgeous. This is the plant I didn't know that I needed, but I needed it and it's just so stunning. I don't know how I'm gonna grow it. I might grow it up a moss pole. So in case these leaves are mature leaves so that they can be um, enticed to stay in their mature form because I am literally obsessed with it. Uh, but as it acclimates to my home for the first month or so, I might just let it sit in its plastic pot and get used to my space. Maybe I'll put it up on one of my trellises. I have two trellises in my home. I could always use a third, uh, but one step at a time. So we'll start off letting this acclimate to my home and then we'll figure out what to do with it. But I think this is one that's just begging to be grown up a vertical setting these leaves telling half of that story. I don't want to lose that leaf shape. It's just so excellent. All right, we have one more today. Let's get messy inside this box. I'm just dumping everything on top of it just to keep the mess off of my kitchen counter. 
So the one that's inside here is a type of spider wart, I believe. So it's very closely related to like the inch plant, the Travis Gantu Zabrina and all of its relatives. And I've thrown many of those in the past, but I've never stumbled upon this one. And I wanted to give it a go. I've heard good things about it. <laughs> and it's stunning. It's totally my vibe right off the, right off the bat. So this is a Sideraceous Fuscata, Fusata. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but you can tell, that you can really tell by just looking at these leaves, at least in person, how closely related this is to an inch plant, like a Tradescantia Scylla Montana with those fuzzy leaves. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. These leaves look like giant inch plant leaves in person, but there's a lot more to them. They have a really nice fuzzy uh, layer on top of them. It's like this nice purple fuzz. I don't know how well it's gonna be showing in the light. Hopefully it's showing nicely, but it goes over the front and back of the leaf. I, I don't know if the back, it looks like the back side of the leaves are a little purple and the tops are green and they have a little stripe down the center. This this plant is brand new to me. Like I hadn't really heard about this until I saw on their website and did a little bit of research on it. But I figured this is one that I had to try out and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I will have to do some research on the exact care of this plant. I just heard that it was easy. So I'm gonna give it a go, uh, but it's, it's so gorgeous. This really does look like a hardy house plant. It's really so gorgeous. Like, I know I just said that the Syngonian Wenlandii might be the one that I'm loving the most, but now this one might be taking my heart a little bit more. This is just so absolutely my vibe. It looks like it's just like growing out a crack in the sidewalk kind of deal, or maybe just like a little nook in a tree in the rainforest or something. I don't know. It's totally giving me that vibe. <laughs> this is such a nice plant. The more I look at this plant, the more I'm noticing the little nuances about it. The leaves are so nice and splotchy. I really don't know how much it's gonna show through on camera, but it's just so nice. There's really so much to love about this plant. This, like the Syngonia Wenlandii, is the plant that I didn't know that I needed, but I needed it. They package these plants so well. Like they seriously do such a good job. I mean, they've been doing this for years, so they know, they know what they're doing, but I'm just really amazed at how well they can ship a box full of six plants and they all just arrive looking so perfect. <sighs> this is so nice. This is literally the house plant I didn't know I needed. This is like literally everything I'm obsessed with and more just in one pot. It's fuzzy, it's dark foliage, it's got different color undersides, it's got a nice little stripe of variation. Like it's it's such a perfect house plant. And this one's very inexpensive. I think this is probably one of the most inexpensive ones in this box today so i could just obsess over this plant all day so i might as well move on <laughs> it's just so amazing i can guarantee i am going to be stopping to feel the leaves of this plant uh many times throughout the rest of today and perhaps the rest of this week before i get it situated in my home as i typically like to let my plants acclimate to my space for at least a week sitting in the pot that they arrived in especially if i'm receiving them in the mail as they've just been going through the mail for who knows how long but I'm really amazed with today's haul. I'm always amazed with the stuff from Steve's Leaves, but I feel like they amaze me more every time with their selection and the sheer abundance that their plants arrive in. I would say 100% that all of the ones I received today are worth the price uh, that they were on the website. So wholehearted recommendation for me. Like I said, I'm not being paid for this video. I know the plants were free, but they're not paying me to say anything. And just to recap all of the house plants that I received today. So we have... Uh, we have the Sideraceus fuscata, fuscata, don't know how to pronounce it, Dischidia, Dischidia pneumalaria, Dischidia or Dischidia ovata. We have this Begonia that I don't know how to pronounce, Begonia uh, natunan, gosh, natunan, Begonia natunansis. It's up in the air for that one. Um, and Syngonium wenlandii, seriously such a beautiful plant. And this very, very lush, full Syngonium yanocarti robe. As I said, there will be a link to Steve's Leaves uh, website in my description, and I will leave all of the house plants that I purchased today in the description as well, so you guys can look them up on their website if you're interested in them yourself. Um, if they are out of stock at the moment, you can join the waitlist to be emailed as soon as it's in stock, so you can go ahead and purchase it then. Um, but otherwise, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next summer, um, thank you again. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.